Welcome back. This is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking, and this is the project that I'm going to show today. So this is a two-page layout that I took the idea from Creative Scrapbooker Sketchy Facebook page. And uh, the left-hand side is the August Sketchy Challenge, and the right-hand side is the June Sketchy Challenge. The papers I used were Memory Lane. Let me show you how I did this. So here are my go by pictures that I copied from the Facebook page. And I'm going to put the August and June together and only because it doesn't really make any, you know, the only thing that connected me were the two scallop edges shown both on the August and the June. And actually I was thinking of changing the orientation of June, but I got ahead of myself. So I'm using these really pretty um, memory lane papers, which is a special from Close to My Heart that goes until August 31st. So if you like these papers, you know, our specials just go really fast and they sell out. So if you like them, you need to get them quickly. So they're using the um, three by four picture sizes. Now you can always change your picture picture size to what you know works for you so the bottom strip of the floral memory lane is one and a half inches the top strip is three and a half uh, both by 12 inches and that is one of the papers that has scallops and they look like they're hand drawn so they're real cute um and i cut those scallops so I took the paper and just cut it in half inch uh, increments and <clears throat> excuse me I got you know a a uh, full-blown scallop with its line and everything uh, doing that so I'm gonna go ahead and do the pictures in the center here and I'm using placeholders uh, three by four placeholders so there's two empty places there and um, I need to cut some paper. So I stopped for a second and I got some sage cardstock and I'm using the lighter side to put, that's gonna be my journaling block. And this is going to be just kind of my little decorative block. So for this, I'm going to use our uh, self-adhering journaling strips. So this is kind of nice if you don't feel like drawing lines um, or cutting thin strips of white cardstock. This is all set to go. So it's already got the stick -em on one side and you just cut them uh, according to your length that you want. And they have, like this is quarter inch, they have three eighths inch and half inch all on the same uh, page there. So they're really quite handy. And I'm putting these down here, but I really should have used a ruler because they look a little, a little crooked. And um, I want them to be straight. So I'm going to pull out my ruler and do about three-eighths of an inch from the bottom and then in between. So that's uh, three lines on that on our T-square ruler. So, and then I'm also using one of the quarter inch lines to line up the edge. So it's not perfect, but it's good enough for handmade stuff. And you can always take a ruler and trim the excess if you want them to be perfectly uh, the same length. And so these are some of the melon flowers that uh, I still had and in my stash. And so I like to use those as kind of a point of starting with the journaling strips. I just think it makes it look cute and I like it. So I'm going to use a little half inch circle up here. And I'm also going to use, I should have backed that with something. And what I might do later on is go around and make a... Um, <clears throat> hand-drawn line around the uh, little strip. And so I'm using some of my stickers to 
make my little decorative block here. So it's got a cute little tree with a swing, a tire swing on it, and a cute little house. And, you know, there's a number of little strip of hearts. So um, really pretty, pretty stickers. But then I thought, well, let me get some of my cozy up stickers that, you know, have some of the same colors and they'll stick out nicely. And there's lots of hearts uh, in here and stars and uh, the colors just blend well with the colors that are on the memory lane. So I was trying to think of putting something else there and I've got this little stash of stuff that I've cut and, you know, cut a whole bunch of and then um, just kind of left them there to use as I see fit. And so I pulled out a uh, glitter cardstock heart and also this heart that um, it's got a nice, you know, a, a uh, ombre effect to it. So I thought it looks really good with the colors. So I thought I'd add those hearts there. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I had this uh, glitter cardstock family. And I was thinking, spending time, that's a, you know, easy, easy to do uh, title that comes with the stickers. But the family just doesn't stick out. See, I love that color cardstock. But I decided to pull out some of my sapphire cardstock and uh, use the same thin cut to do family with the sapphire. And it just sticks out very nicely. And so I'm just dotting some of my Tombow liquid glue, flipping it around, and, you know, that stands out nicely from the... the uh, rather busy background. So I'm going to go ahead and put the little dot on there. And so there we go. I figured this is a good family one. It's got a house and hearts and um, I also found this open heart. So I think these are all from uh, thin cuts that I have and I made a bunch of them. And so just a little, a little glitz. Okay, so now we're going to the June sketchy challenge. So I'm going to set August aside. And there we go for June. So this is, these are all uh, the memory lane papers. So pretty. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? I love that. And so I was going to use the striped side, but I think I'm going to use uh, the kind of watercolorish side. I just love that. See, it's kind of what to do, what to do. You know, both of them are really beautiful. They kind of give a different, different feel. I'm kind of figuring out which way do I want this to go. And then I've got some extra, extra strips that I use to, uh, when I cut down the, uh, the background sheet, which is like, um, let me see, it's about 10 and a half by 10 and a half. So those strips are about an inch and a half wide. And so there we go. I, I liked that background that has the uh, kind of gentle, gentle waves going through it. It's just the colors. To me, the colors in this are just so beautiful. And see, this is what kind of, you know, went into my head with... Um, doing these as a two-page layout is because the scallops on either side of one of the background papers just went with the scallops on the other page. So that's my thinking. That and, you know, using the same papers. You, it's, they don't have, <clears throat> your side-by-side -side papers don't have to, layouts don't have to be identical. They can be different. It's okay, but if you've got the same paper, then you've got the continuity uh, going across. And I'm kind of tucking the line of the scallops underneath the paper because I think I just want the scallops to show. So there we go. That's just kind of the look that I wanted. 
Now, these are the strips, extra strips from trimming that 10 and a half by 10 and a half piece. So I'm going to go ahead and put, put them that way so that the stripes actually show up, although one is long and one is the, uh, you know, cross section of all the stripes. But that's okay. They don't have to be, they don't have to be the same. And I think that, uh, Gosh, those are pretty papers. So really what I was going to do at this point was turn the paper 90 degrees to the left and uh, put the together so it's family together. But then I started making these stripes before I thought. And so uh, these are also 3 eighths of an inch in between. And I'm just using my little journaling pen. This is my sepia journaling pen. So, but that's, you know, that's okay. I can, I can go with it. That's fine. See, that's sort of what I was thinking. But, and then this title goes sideways. So, that's, that's totally family together, even though it's a together is sideways. That's fine. That's fine. It just adds a little, a little twist, so to speak. See how the title is going um, longitudinally anyway, instead of horizontally. Come on, Tombo, you can do it. Sometimes I have to give it a little poke and then it starts acting, acting better. But this also, this is another thin cut that I've had uh, for a very long time. And uh, I went ahead and, and did the thin cut in sapphire again. So both family and together, I mean, you can use those over and over again. I mean, just perfect, right? So I went ahead and cut some of the sage paper into... Uh, three and a half by four and a half. So there's going to be a quarter inch border going all around. And uh, I had some extras. I had to order some more three by four placeholders. Uh, but I had these that I that I cut from four by fours. <clears throat> Excuse me, if that's okay. So here we go. There's how my pictures are going to go. And then um, I'm going to put little all smiles down here in the set. The most the reason why I use that is because it says all smiles. And so, you know, and it's in the sapphire. So I just went ahead and, you know, made it match with the uh, together sapphire. So I'm just trying to figure out what, what little additives. The flowers add so much detail that it's kind of hard to uh, add much to them. It has to be a pretty strong color for it to show up against those flowers. So I went ahead and added some more of my melon little flowers on my points of journaling. And I'm going to use some of these strong colors so that it sticks out. And that one goes on the center of a flower because that just makes total sense. And some little ones, a medium and a big one. needed to get another sheet of them. I've actually used quite a few of these. So it's always the hard thing. It's always making the decisions for me. So I'm using this really, um, the darker color and putting some little hearts around. Medium and tiny ones. And then, that's so that's my June page and I'm real happy with both of these pages and I really like doing the sketchy challenge for creative magazine uh, Facebook page if you haven't checked it out go check it out it gives you great ideas so there are my pages and I kind of end up finding see it could have gone that way and looked like that but there we go. So I found some more of my gold glitter open hearts and closed hearts, and I went ahead and put those down. I'm just showing you a close-up of them. So there we go. There's my challenge, and those are my close-ups. 
love those. I love those little flowers, those little melon flowers. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I sure love doing it. And thank you, Sketchy Challenge. We appreciate you. Bye. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.